On October 11, 2024, Tesla's We Robot event at Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California became the epicenter of technological innovation. This wasn't just another product launch, it was a bold declaration of Tesla's vision for the future of transportation. Let's dive into the details that made this event a turning point in automotive history. As attendees stepped onto the Warner Brothers lot, they were transported into a world where science fiction met reality. Tesla had transformed the space into five distinct areas, each offering a unique experience that blended entertainment with education. This immersive setup did more than entertain, it educated. By allowing visitors to interact with the technology in various contexts, Tesla made complex concepts accessible to the general public. It wasn't just about selling cars, it was about selling a vision of the future. The star of the show, Cybercab Unveiled. As the anticipation reached its peak, Elon Musk made his entrance in true showman style, riding in the very vehicle everyone had come to see, the Cybercab. This dynamic arrival set the tone for the evening and immediately demonstrated the vehicle's capabilities. The Cybercab, Tesla's official name for its robo-taxi, is a marvel of engineering and design. Its two-door, two-seat configuration challenges traditional notions of what a taxi should look like. The absence of a steering wheel and pedals makes a bold statement. This vehicle is designed from the ground up for autonomous operation. Tesla didn't just bring one prototype to the event, a fleet of 20 functional cybercabs was on display, along with 30 modified Model Ys. This wasn't a concept car hidden behind velvet ropes, it was a real, tangible product ready for scrutiny. The Cybercab's design language echoes that of the Cybertruck, with angular lines and a futuristic aesthetic. Front and rear light bars not only serve a functional purpose, but also give the vehicle a distinct visual signature. The painted aluminum body diverges from the stainless steel of the Cybertruck, likely a choice made to optimize weight and energy efficiency. One of the most striking features is the butterfly doors. Behind their visual appeal, these doors serve a practical purpose in urban environments. They require less space to open than traditional doors, making it easier for passengers to enter and exit in tight spaces, a common scenario in crowded city streets. Inside, a large center screen dominates the cabin. This isn't just an information display, it's the primary interface between passengers and the vehicle. The screen likely handles everything from destination input to climate control and entertainment options. The spacious hatch-like trunk is another thoughtful design element. It addresses a common complaint about current ride-hailing services, limited cargo space. Whether it's airport luggage, grocery bags, or sports equipment, the Cybercar seems equipped to handle a variety of passenger needs. Tesla's vision extends far beyond the vehicle itself. The company is promising nothing short of a revolution in transportation economics. According to their projections, the Cybercab could operate at a cost of around 20 cents per mile, or 40 cents after taxes and fees. To put this in perspective, Musk compared it to current bus transit costs of $1 per mile. If these figures prove accurate, the implications are staggering. It would mean a transportation option that's potentially cheaper than public transit while offering the convenience of door-to-door -door service. This could fundamentally alter urban mobility, making convenient transportation accessible to a much broader segment of the population. But the economic impact doesn't stop there. In a move that surprised many, Tesla announced plans to make the Cybercab available for purchase at a price point below $30,000. This aggressive pricing strategy could democratize access to autonomous vehicle technology, potentially disrupting both the ride-hailing industry and personal car ownership models. The Road to Full Autonomy While the Cybercar captured the headlines, Tesla also revealed its roadmap for achieving full autonomy across its existing vehicle lineup. The company is taking a phased approach, starting with unsupervised full self-driving FSD capabilities for Model 3 and Model Y in Texas and California by 2025. This cautious strategy suggests that Tesla is well aware of the regulatory and technical challenges involved in deploying autonomous vehicles. By focusing on specific models and regions, they can gather crucial real-world data and work closely with local authorities to ensure compliance and safety. Plans for implementing unsupervised FSD in the Model S, Model X, and Cybertruck were mentioned, but without specific timelines. This flexibility allows Tesla to adapt its approach based on the lessons learned from the initial rollout. The phased approach also addresses one of the biggest complaints surrounding autonomous vehicles, safety. 
By gradually expanding the capabilities and reach of their autonomous systems, Tesla can build public trust and address potential issues before a full-scale deployment. The Brain Behind the Operation At the heart of Tesla's autonomous ambitions lies its artificial intelligence system. Musk made the bold claim that their AI has lived a million lives, training on countless unusual scenarios to ensure safety and reliability. This statement highlights Tesla's focus on machine learning and data collection. The company has a significant advantage in this area, with a fleet of vehicles on the road constantly gathering real-world driving data. This massive data set allows their AI systems to encounter and learn from a wide variety of driving situations, potentially leading to safer and more reliable autonomous operation. Tesla projects their system to be 10 to 30 times safer than human drivers. While this is an impressive claim, it's important to note that real-world performance data will be crucial to verify these figures. The company will need to be transparent in reporting accidents, near misses, and other safety metrics to build public trust in their autonomous systems. One of the most interesting aspects of Tesla's approach is their continued commitment to a camera-based system which they call Tesla Vision. This stands in contrast to many competitors who rely on a combination of cameras, radar, and lidar. Tesla argues that their AI can extract all necessary information from visual data alone, much like human drivers do. This approach has both advantages and potential drawbacks. On the plus side, cameras are less expensive and more readily available than LIDAR systems, potentially contributing to Tesla's ability to offer autonomous vehicles at a lower price point. However, cameras can struggle in low-light conditions or adverse weather, situations where radar and LIDAR might provide additional useful data. The Robovan and Optimus Tesla surprised many by unveiling the Robovan, a larger autonomous vehicle designed for multiple use cases. With a capacity for up to 20 people or configurable for goods transport, the Robovan demonstrates Tesla's ambition to address various segments of the transportation market. This versatile vehicle could potentially serve as a school bus, a delivery van, or even a mobile office. Its adaptability showcases Tesla's vision for a future where autonomous vehicles serve a wide range of societal needs beyond personal transportation. The event also featured Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot. While Optimus demonstrated walking abilities and interacted with attendees, it's worth noting that these demonstrations were assisted by remote human operators. The projected price point of $20,000 to $30,000 for Optimus seems optimistic given the current state of robotics technology. However, the inclusion of Optimus in this event highlights Tesla's broader ambitions in the field of AI and automation. It suggests a future where autonomous vehicles are just one part of a larger ecosystem of intelligent machines designed to assist humans in various aspects of life. Reshaping Urban Landscapes Tesla's vision extends beyond individual vehicles to how autonomous transportation could transform our cities. They predict a reduction in parking lots, freeing up urban space for more green areas and community spaces. This concept aligns with the current trends in urban planning that prioritize livability and sustainability. By reducing the need for personal vehicle ownership and large parking structures, cities could potentially reclaim significant amounts of space for parks, pedestrian zones, or affordable housing. However, it's important to recognize that such transformations would require significant changes to urban infrastructure and planning processes. Cities would need to adapt their public transportation systems, zoning laws, and traffic management strategies to accommodate a large fleet of autonomous vehicles. As we consider the implications of Tesla's announcements, it's worth pondering how these technologies might actually impact our daily lives. The promise of commutes transformed into productive or leisure time is appealing. Imagine being able to catch up on work, read a book, or even take a nap while traveling to your destination. This could lead to significant improvements in work-life balance and overall quality of life for many people. Reduced stress from traffic and parking concerns is another potential benefit. Autonomous vehicles could communicate with each other to optimize traffic flow, potentially reducing congestion and travel times. The elimination of parking hassles in busy urban areas could make city visits more enjoyable and efficient. For those unable to drive due to age, disability, or other factors, autonomous vehicles could provide a new level of independence and mobility. This could have profound impacts on social inclusion and access to opportunities for many individuals. However, it's important to approach these possibilities with a critical eye. The timeline for widespread adoption of these technologies is likely longer than the most optimistic projections suggest. 
Infrastructure changes, regulatory approvals, and public acceptance will take time. Moreover, the societal implications of such a shift in transportation are complex and far-reaching. How will our relationship with cars and travel change when we're no longer in control? What happens to the culture of car ownership that has been a significant part of many societies for decades? These are questions that will need to be addressed as autonomous technology becomes more prevalent. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.